as you all might have could seen in the last video, the gerbil was a lot of work to carve. But, you know, I tell you, they don't probably don't require too much sanding, but might require some. So, I'm going to try to apply a little bit of it to it and try to make it so we can kind of straighten out the best of what we need to. I've come to realize I haven't sanded this other one whenever I was doing it. But, you know, there's kind of just some things I'm going to try to cover here while I'm working on it. Might talk about what I have today and have the autism walk coming up later today. And it's kind of an event that I've taken, play, taken part in over the years. And, I mean, last year and the year before, they didn't have it because of the pandemic and the year before that, I didn't get around to signing up because of all I had going on. I mean, first of all, you know, around the time they were kind of taking registration, my grandmother was had passed away. And so, you know, this was kind of a time in our life when we weren't doing much. And I mean, around that time, I would also had tennis elbow, and I was going through physical therapy, so that was a time when I had a lot going on, and so, you know, that was kind of why the last time they had it, I didn't get around to signing up or registering, and um, kind of, I'd say, missed it by far as far as when it was coming up and all, but kind of would say that it's been a good couple of years. There have probably been a few other events that I've missed over the years because they haven't been having them because of the pandemic. And I'm hoping maybe in the springtime when they have the Autism Palooza in Somerset, they might go back to having that again. Always enjoyed taking trips down there to see the friends I had made down there and it was always good fun just to kind of get around everybody meet everybody see everybody and even in the autism world I say that you know because I'm diagnosed myself and affected by it myself that's kind of one of the reasons I seem to get real supportive of it with people. I know there's a lot of people on the spectrum who are against autism speaks, but I've always thought they kind of had things that I could be supportive of. I mean, I tell you, they kind of make up a lot of lies about them. They tell a lot of fibs about them. They kind of make up stories to scandalize Autism Speaks, but I tell you, if you know it very well, you know, I kind of would say I know a little more about them and think that they really are helpful to people. There are even some people on the spectrum themselves who say it ticks them off when autistics support them. And they all, and that's why they say that for another thing, I've been called a traitor for it too in some little conversations I've had online with people. Some people thought I was a traitor to other autistics because of that. And I say that there's just some of this stuff where we kind of see how it all goes and in my life there's been a lot of things I've been labeled you know and been labeled homophobe and you know all kinds of things that really don't apply to me so much so I say that when we got a little work to come into this, we are going to make this a little, so it, we're going to sand the gerbil. 
I say that this little work is something that can have a long way to go eventually. Sometimes we're not always precise with the grits of sandpaper we use, but this time around, I started out with a bit of a rougher grit. And as you could see, I mean, the gerbil is a big piece of work. There's a lot of carving that goes into it. That's probably why it took a 30 minute video to carve the whole thing and demonstrate how it worked and how it went because it is a tiny piece but there's just a lot of detail you have to pay attention to. There might even be a pattern somewhere that isn't a lot of work, but the way I kind of just make my little pieces from leftover scraps of wood, that's basically how I just keep my wood from going to waste after I cut off certain pieces. Don't want to throw them away or anything because I can probably make more money using the little scraps to carve littler things out of the scraps that people might want to buy. And that's kind of one of the ways that I recycle materials, you know, to try to make use of everything, try to make use of the junk and the scraps so that we know that the little work can come its way and make its way to us. So there's a lot of stuff I can't wait to get out and display today because I'm going to sure have a lot of it to show. And I'd say for one thing, it's like tomorrow's Monday and I go back to work. And so it could be any day that these videos get uploaded. But I kind of speak in the tense of the days on which the videos are being recorded. So it's really a time when sometimes you kind of got to think when you upload things to YouTube, all the captions and all. That's the kind of things I'm trying to take into heart, take into mind. So... It's going to probably be a little bit of concentration and work just to kind of try to do those things. And so it's just how it all is going to work when it comes in the end. And I always appreciate how my work turns out most of the time. Some people like the little things in life. They like to purchase the little mice and rats that I make sometimes out of wood. I had a young girl purchase a couple of partridges from me last event, and I was thankful to sell them. They were fairly cheap for what they were, not being much more work than they were, so that was kind of a good thing on my part and like I said in the previous video you know some people say they just like the tiny stuff and I'll tell you all that there's probably going to be a little work I'm going to put into this once I get done and it's going to be a lot of time and effort put into things that are going to be meant to last in the long run. Take care of things you don't need. Take care of things you want. I say it's all good for you, the soul, all good for the groove, all good for the music. And with all my work going into what I do, I say that we're going to rise and shine. Sometimes, you know, there's a little thought I have here. I'm going to try to make little marks to be where I'm going to burn in the ears to this gerbil.
it's just the thing with the work, how it goes, how it comes along. Oh, I say how we got along here. We got these little ears in here. And we're going to put a couple of little ear triangles into this other one too. I say work shall work, work shall work, work shall work. And I say this is what it comes down to. We got a couple more ears in here. And we got to burn in a couple of little eyes or draw in the lines for them. To, as for where they're going to be, try to get them, if the word is right, perpendicular. So we're going to kind of draw them into this other one as well. Kind of got to learn how to tell, <coughs> tell a gerbil from a rat sometimes because they can... It can be a little difficult if you don't learn the difference. Yeah. And they, I'd say I got them good on that one too. Try to draw a little place for the nose here. Like, just like that. Make a little spot for the mouth to come down just like that and that's pretty much what you got to do before you start doing the burning part and depending on how we go with this video or actually I'm already thinking given my time I probably will take you all over to the wood burner and let you all see how it's going to be done in quite a few of my other videos, I've probably demonstrated to you how this has been done with a few other of my projects. But I'd say this time around, since we have the rotary tool out, we might do a little something different, kind of take the rotary tool bit and use it to put in the eyes. Just like we did here. And like we do with this one as well, and uh, get a little extra bit of work done, we're going to take the skew bit or the skew tip pin on the burner and put in the lines for the ears. And I burned in little lines for the nose and the mouth as well. We're going to do the same particular steps on this one here. And we got the gerbil. Now we're going to take a little bit of a 220 grit sandpaper and try to sand away the extra black around the burn and the pencil marks so it kind of comes out a little better here. And 
I'd say when we get down to it, we're going to show a little more skill to it. We're going to try to sand the rest of it as well, so it all kind of comes out the same here, and when we get down to it, it's like this is how it'll be, and we come down to this one as well make it so we get rid of all the extra black that is around the burn and the pencil marks and so that it kind of looks so much better and that is how we make it down to this the very little last thing it is going to be and finally there's other little things we're going to do here. We're going to take little labels and we're going to, it's the same labels I showed you in the little guinea pig video. It's these and we're going to kind of add them on the underside and with a little demonstration here as to how it is done and cut it around the edge so that it's like this and then take these little tags we cut out of the big tag and kind of like um what do we say And we got one underneath here, so it's like we're getting a little work done into this now. And there's little things we need to say and do here. I will tell you, since this is African mahogany and it, that's a lot to write and there's little space under the wood, there's a little abbreviation we're going to put on here instead. We're going to put in A, F, R, dot, M, A, H, O, G. That's what it's going to be as well as putting in my initials, JDP, and the year, which is 2022. We're going to do the same one with this one, only since the tag is in the other direction. We're going to do it in the other direction. Put A, F, R, dot, M, A, H, O, G. Afro Mahog, African Mahogany. And likewise with this one, we're going to put in my initials and we're going to put in the year 2022. And this is where they're all going to come down like this. And, and for this moment, I decide we're going to put a little super glue on the tag and that's how we're going to laminate it. And then there's going to come the time we're going to put it in a jar with some linseed oil and give it a soaking. And oops, I just got glue on my jeans here. I'd say it's not a bad stain doesn't show up too easily on 
some clothing like it does on others. So we got a little place here to kind of spread the glue out. And to answer y'all's questions about things, I'd like to mention that I order my glue, my super glue in bulk. I order a big box with several packages in it so I can have plenty to use and plenty to go around and plenty to last. So sometimes we get big packages here and kind of take them so they come to this little particular level and I say, I say, I say, kind of go down and cover the little lines and I say that it's time to turn that off so we don't cause anything to explode and this is how we kind of work on the things a bit. And sometimes it might take several coats to kind of get it to where it is enough proof of the oil. And that's what it'll come down to when it gets to the end. I believe somewhere around here I had a little vitamin jar I probably used to soak little things like this in when I make them and wherever it is it would probably be the best thing for these if I could find it but I think you all have probably seen in my videos enough how I enough demonstrations how I do the little linseed oil work so That'll be something I'll get around to doing eventually and kind of take care of this little bit of work once it comes down to the very, very, very thing it needs to be. I say that they'll come down and I'd say that for this video this might be what we've done enough here so it's like we can probably put these up to dry and like you've seen demonstrated with other pieces in other books yes these will be put into a container of linseed oil to be soaked and for about five days at the most at the least seven at the most so that's how we all just kind of work along this project and I just wanted to say that I want to thank you all for watching and take care and stay safe and goodbye see you in the next video